I suggest students like not only just cube, go and place it in a cone, in a pyramid, in a cube, uh, then in a in a hemisphere. Different types of surfaces <laughs> you'll encounter. So place in the different surfaces, then see that what conditions will arise. I think this is one best way of making ready yourself for the exam, rather than getting trouble in the exam. Uh, can we assume two cubes? Uh, two pyramids, then what is the flux linking to the upper pyramid and lower will be how much q by 2 f or not? Suppose if there are 20 lines of force are there, of that 10 lines will pass to the upper pyramid, remaining 10 lines to the lower pyramid, fine. And then uh, it's, it's a triangular pyramid. All the area of <laughs> these triangles will be seen. Why the flux passing through the base should be zero, no? Because lines of force will be tangential to it. Then uh, triangular pyramid it is. So therefore, uh, what all the flux linking the each face must be equal. So half of the flux will link the pyramid in that one third of half what will happen should link each face. So first we'll write flux linking the upper pyramid. Q by two F zero flux linking each face should be equal to flux linking upper pyramid by three. Why three? Three faces it will have. Now why there is no flux through the base? Because it will be tangential to the, the lines of force will be tangential to the base of a pyramid. So this will become Q by six F one naught. Okay, I'm just sharing some ideas. So there's all different types of questions will be there. So you must be in a position to analyze it with a geometrical idea. Okay.